So let's see, maybe I'll get lucky and we'll get a call. Nope, no call. All right, well, it's either do the main mission or it's do other side stuff, hoping that that occupies enough time for them to call me. And it's just kind of annoying. I've already talked about it, so I should probably not talk about it anymore, but I feel, I feel like people already know my stance on it. And just kind of continuing to complain about it. People will be like, we've already heard you complain about it. Just shut the fuck up. It's like, but it sucks. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> like, I just want to, I just want to complain about it. Also, I don't know why I'm trying to like drive here. I should find a fast travel point and fast travel there. So maybe I'll do a couple more side missions in the hopes that I get a call from Judy and or the crew. And if it if she doesn't call or someone doesn't call like somewhat soon, I'm just gonna say forget it. But we'll we'll see what happens. I guess I'll try some of the other side quests and I, if I get sick of waiting, I'll just do the main I'll just do the main story, you know? Oh my god. Carrie, hey, forgot to send the Eddies. Yeah, can you give me fucking money? Isn't he rich and famous? Where's my fucking money? Oh, is Judy fucking calling me? Thank hey, God, dude. Michael called. God. Before sundown. Out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. God, do I even want to do this mission now? No, I don't want to fucking do this mission. I want to do the Judy mission. Which means we gotta go back and find another, like, fast travel point. Is this up here? Oh, this is actually up here. There's one, like, right in front of me. There's, like, it feels like there's no cars on the street. Like, at all. Like, you see some cars here and there, but it feels like, I don't know, like a ghost town. Was it always like this? I feel like cars have been reduced or something. Am I crazy? Wait, is the mission, like, right here? No, this is... No, I haven't swapped missions yet. I was like, wow, that's convenient. No. We gotta we gotta go here. I swear to God, there's, like, less cars than there used to be. I swear I remember way more cars in the beginning of the game, but uh, maybe it's just, like, the area I'm in. Maybe if I went to a different area, there'd be, like, way more cars. Feels kind of barren, though. There's, like, nothing ever fucking driving around. There's just, like, yeah, there's, like, one car, like, and fucking nothing. Little smart cars zipping around over there. All right, meet with Judy and the dolls. We'll do. Hey V, you ready? Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Maiko, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. Let's do this. Ah, gonk motherfuckers everywhere. All right, well, she's not having a good day. No, apparently no one's having a good day in this universe. Everyone's just perpetually, like, upset, mad, sad, dying on drugs, like... Oh, how come I gotta hit the elevator every time? It feels like nobody's truly happy in this world. Right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. I'll fuck him up. I don't even care. 
Who's this? Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? Oh, I can take him out. Check out this bat I got, baby. It does hurt, doesn't it? It's about to hurt a whole lot more. Bam! Fuck out of here. Right in the fucking face. Goodbye. Oh, you think you got a gun? I got a golden bat. How you like that? Don't bring a gun to a bat fight. It's a saying in my family. What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security. You do. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Okay. On my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. Oh, will do. You know me, I'll be super safe. We're going to the roof. How's the sitch? We're inside at Clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. I got the feeling those two are probably going to die or something something bad is going to happen to them. Like me and Judy will probably be fine, but like those two, I don't know. They seem pretty unimportant and they're totally going to get captured and die or something. I don't know. All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful though, okay? Dude, careful's my middle name. I'll show you how careful I am. Oh shit, can I break this? Is someone in here? Uh oh. Can I just jump down here and like I mean there is a door there. Maybe I should go the other way. I'll be late. I told you I have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I'm kinda worried. Ugh. I don't want any We're fucking fine. dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Get out of here. I'm gonna throw this guy off the building. Dude, that guy Oh shit, he's gonna fall himself. Aw. Who else saw me? Oh, you wanna fight? Oh, you wanna have a melee fight? Let's fucking melee fight then. Oh, he's actually pretty tanky. Oh well, not tanky enough. Yeah, these guys are actually like a little they're a little bit beefier. Excuse me, sir, please just get knocked out. Thank you. I didn't want to do that. Let me pick up the body. Pick up body. Can I not frag out the body? I wish I could just like... Ugh, aw, won't let me frag it out. Guess I'm not strong enough. Does guy have like a power level scouter? What is that? Yeah, he's got like a power level scouter. I just wanted to throw someone off the damn building. That's all I wanted to do break some window. Oh, come on. Can't break anything. Not if I got anything to say about it. Judy, I don't even know what you're talking about at this point. I don't know what she's responding to. Well. Was hoping you'd hey, what's up, everybody? Here. Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security Luckily, room. they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Yeah, everyone get out. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? Yeah, what the hell was even happening here? That's our target. Hiromi Sato. <laughs> She's like... That was pretty rude. Who are the other two? target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko. I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? All right, I'll do what I can. Jack him out. All right, jack him out, and I'll fucking hit him with well, my bat. She is no Barker. Wait, what's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. 
This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now? Hold on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. Who draw hey, weapon? We gotta take him down. That's why we're here. All right, let's fucking do it then. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. I'd rather do what Judy wants to do. So that's what we're gonna do. And I got my beautiful golden bat to do it. Oh, do I have to like fuck this guy up too? Hold on, let me loot these guys first. Time for a oh shit, dude. What the hell were you thinking? You any idea what's gonna happen now? Nah, we'll be fine. Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to clouds. Or I end you, here and now. I see you got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. Oh, okay. Well. All right, v, get out. <laughs> I've and also got a doll chip. And that shit then fucking happens. Yeah, how'd that doll chip go for you? Not too well, huh? Alright, let me take this knife. One for the road, and let's get the fuck out of here. Of course she didn't want to stick to the plan, and I almost deviated from that shit, too. And then Judy's Tell like, the what are you doing? Safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. All right. Oh, hey, I don't have to wait for the elevator to go down. That's pretty nice. We get to zip right on down through a loading screen. I guess it doesn't really matter. Loading screen or elevator. Pick your poison. Why am I just staring straight you, up? You killed her? Oh my fucking god. You killed her. Yeah, well, what did you want me to do? Given what I saw, I knew she'd be a bigger jackbooted tyrant than Hiromi. And that was reason enough to take her life? Yeah, it was. I'm sorry, Judy. I didn't plan for it to happen. I know. Give me a sec. I gotta gather my wits. I, uh... I gotta process all this in peace. Alone. Be seeing you, V. See you, Judy. Oh my god, is this another wait fucking some amount of time before she calls you and, like... I'm just doing the main mission at this point. Like, I don't feel like waiting every time I complete someone's portion of a side quest. I really don't. Let's go with Street Brawler. What else do we got? Defeating an enemy increases damage with blunt weapons by 100% for 10 seconds. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to get that. So if I got a nice group of enemies I'm fighting, if I take one of them out, then I get like a pretty big damage boost. Yeah, this is just going to be like, she's just going to have me wait for her to call again and it's like dude i don't feel like waiting every time i finish a part of a side quest for someone to call me so i'm just gonna go ahead and like start up this main mission and do that because like i don't know it seems like every fucking quest at this point is like hey just wait for them to call you just wait for them to call you and it's like i don't feel like waiting anymore so i'm just gonna fucking leave and do whatever i feel like with the main the main story we gotta find a fast travel point though there was one behind me I guess I'll just go to this one now who even who even knows what she'll say to me when she finally decides to call I don't know if she'll have any other extra missions but like at this point it's kind of like fucking whatever I've tried to be patient but, like, every time I, I complete a portion of a side quest, it, it wants me to wait. And I don't feel like waiting. I just don't. I don't feel like waiting anymore.
if I if I wanted to do like all of the other side stuff, I probably wouldn't mind because it's like, oh well, I'm just gonna do like all of the side stuff anyway. But I already know that I don't want to do all of the side stuff, and I just kind of want to focus on the main stuff. Oh my God, Carrie again? Hey, Carrie. You know what I'm looking at? Us cracks concert announcement. This is not fucking happening. Wait, what? I thought we took care of it. The truck didn't do shit. They just postponed the game. Meet me outside the club. Little push didn't work. Now we got a shove. Right. See you outside the club. Bring your heat. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit, that's for sure. I'm definitely not doing that right now. Plus, Carrie's kind of like an asshole. And I think I already did, you know, pretty... What the fuck is happening? This looks so fucking dark. I already did pretty good work with uh, trying to get Johnny one of his last requests in. So I'm saying screw Carrie. He's an asshole anyway. He can deal with it on his own. Point of no return. You've reached a point of no return. When you enter the restaurant, you will be locked out of all unfinished side jobs and other activities like gigs until all your main jobs are complete. If you have any unfinished business, settle it before reaching or before meeting with Hanako. Oh, I think I'm just going to go in because, like, I, I feel like a good portion of Judy's stuff is done and I, I don't feel like just kind of doing other side stuff until I'm done. So I'm just going to do the main stuff. That's what we're going to do. I don't know how long this mission's going to be, but... Sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, we dealt her. I don't think that's going to be possible, Johnny, but... Very fancy. Look at this. Oh, she's playing some she piano. Place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Power. Family. Dang it. Our family. Almost had it. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. 